ja sun, ja moon, and forever erase your fantasy. The planets have lined up in the year 2000. The poles are shifted. I am not a hypocrite, so I don't give a damn about you saying that I'm not credible, that I'm smoking weed. I know what that's all about. There was a, a, a so-called Spanish guy. He has a Spanish name. He has a Mexican name, but he's not. His name is Jose Aguiles. Has something called a Telectonon prophecy. And th these are his his words. We're going to show you how all this thing ties in. He said in his writings, I had met Tanetta Muhammad. That's Muhammad's, Elijah Muhammad's last wife. A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about, but there are many out there that do, but do your research. I had met Tanetta Muhammad. <clears throat> she came looking for us. That's him and his wife in 1988. In the same year that the that the 19 code was fully revealed by Khalifa in 1974, Elijah Muhammad took Tarneta Muhammad to Mexico. This is Jose Aguilas talking. He, she said that Elijah Muhammad took Tarneta Muhammad to Mexico to I can't pronounce the name of the city he took her to. Start with the C. Says Elijah Muhammad was a very mysterious man. While Khalifa was in Tucson, that's Arizona, Elijah Muhammad was in Phoenix, Arizona. And shortly after Rashad Khalifa came to Tucson, he went to visit Elijah Muhammad. They had a, a very interesting relationship as well. Then in 1980, Tarnetta Muhammad went to visit and meet with Rashad Khalifa. This was five years after the passing of Elijah Muhammad. So, Rashad Khalifa revealed to her, i.e. Tarnetta Muhammad, says Jose Aguiles, everything about the Code 19. So before her meeting with Khalifa, she wasn't talking about the Code 19 in the year 1980. So Jose Aguiles says, then in 1987 at Harmonic Convergence, and the Harmonic Convergence was about it was like Woodstock 2. And see, I'm preaching about Master Blaster, which is the third part of that phase. First we had Woodstock in 87, we had Harmonic Convergence. Now at the end we're supposed to have a Master Blaster jamming, which is supposed to be a black thing. And it's all dealing with sound vibrations. So Jose Aguiles and his Maya factor brings the reality, the scientific proof of what I'm talking about. Now he says that, she knew, she said that in 1987, at the Harmonic Convergence, Tanetta Muhammad was shown the Maya factor by Jose. She knew this was part of what her husband is, Elijah Muhammad, had told her. That now she should look for the prophecy from the New World. So, Elijah Muhammad had already told, according to Jose Aguiles, that Elijah Muhammad had told his last wife, bright-skinned woman, looked like a Mexican herself, and she might be told her to look to the Maya, the Mexico, he called it the New World, for the prophecies. It's like I'm telling you, it's written in the Maya codes of what we should do in the 64-unit uh, matrix, genetic signing board, the Zolkin. Jose brings this out in his work, but the only thing about Jose, Jose thinks he's Pakal Volton. He thinks he, he done became one of the Maya God, it's just, it's just like he's supposed to be the reincarnation of Pakal. You know, it's like Yahweh saying he's Yahweh, been Yahweh. He that he's God, the Son of God. Jose Aguiles is saying that he's that he's one of the gods too. So Jose says she knew this was part of what her husband had told her that now she should look for the prophecies from the New World. She saw that the Maya mathematics was based on the 0 to 19 code, the cipher to 19 code. So she came and found us in 1988. And that's the same year that the Nation of Islam had the what's called the overwhelming event. There was supposed to be an exodus 
but they like moved into the Temple Mosque Miriam. It was very esoteric in the year of 1980. That's when uh, Jesse Jackson and Duke Caucus ran for presidency. And it was called To Wanna Brawl, the play on the word of To Wanna Brawley, who was raped by some cops and Farrakhan picked her up, cleaned her up, and put her in the mosque, and the mosque was named Miriam, and she got the name Miriam. So 1988 was a very powerful year. So see my work uh, on uh, on uh, Khalid Muhammad, and you'll, you'll see what happened there. Then, in 1991, she came to Hawaii, where Jose Aguiles was. Now, he's supposed to be a Mexican guy, but he's really a white guy with a Jose. It's a smoke and mirrors. A year after the death of Rashad Khalifa, and told us all about his work. So she went and relayed Khalifa's work to Jose, and she went and had a meeting with uh, Khalifa, and she related to Jose, and that's how Jose learned about the uh, Code 19 and put it in his work. So Tanetta Muhammad was responsible for the education of Jose Aguiles. Check this out. Before he died, she went to him and said, you know, you have discovered the 19 Code, but the Maya people of the New World also have the 19 code, but it's really the code 13, and, 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 and it, it works out the same way. So we saw that in the Bound of Move. That was in 1985, way before Sister Netta Muhammad knew anything about the code. The Rastafari knew about the code, so I said, but he was not able to do anything about it before he was assassinated. Talking about Khalifa, because the f f fanatic fundamental Muslim killed Khalifa because Khalifa had found his code and knew that mathematics was the key to the communication of God or God or the God's used communication. But see, they think Allah is some spook of spirit, which Allah was ancient Maya, the ancient Anunnaki, and they set the codes, mathematical codes. People did this. Black men did this. Elijah Muhammad knew this. He taught Tarnetta Muhammad about this, but Tarnetta then got caught up in this smoke and mirrors thing and she's really perfect with it. She'll start out reading scriptures of the Quran and then she'll go into her little rambles about this and that and spook it all up and everybody's following that. But Elijah Muhammad talked about the mothership. And if they would follow the thing correctly, Tarnetta Muhammad has had concerts over there in Mexico. Supposedly he tried to have one, but it didn't work out too good. Jose Aguilas. Aguilas knows that it's about sound vibration. He knows that Woodstock was a part. So why this black one wants to hook up with this cracker, Jose Aguilas? And I'm backing every damn thing up I say. I don't give a damn. I call him a cracker. That's what he is. He wants to sit down and talk and correct the thing. And we want to really have a serious harmonic conversion and really call down. There's a white guy I know, a personal friend of mine that knows it. He want to do it with rock music. But it's not about rock music. It's about Stevie Wonder. It's about righteous music. It's about George Clinton. And all these brothers and about forgot about this thing now, man. They so caught up in the system. You know, and I mean, these Negroes got plenty of money. All the rappers out there, a lot of them are waking up. You got money to damn clean up the gulf right now. Why are you waiting on the white man to tell you they go clean it, man? You are now in two. On the one, the force itself at this time we call it the master blaster jet. keep messing around. It's going to be too late sitting down waiting on Farrakhan to do so. He's not going to do anything. You're waiting on this man to do this. They're not going to do nothing. It's all about money to them. It's up to you. It's up to us. That's why we got the internet now to get this message. That's why we're doing the fast next month. To shake some things up. To wake some people up. To look within ourselves. To find the God within ourselves. And raise our conscience high. So your love can rule the world. You're now in tune. It's time for the poor man. The poor righteous teachers. The five motherfucking percenters to get this thing together and make it happen. I'm even with the rappers if y'all want to come together and do this thing, man. Let's do it. You are now in tune on the one the force itself at this time we call it the Master Blaster Jamming. Peace.